This week, find out which filmmaker is making their directorial debut, which musician made a sneaker-inspired music video, and which AAPI athletes won at the Olympics. You can catch all this and more here on The Lookout. BTS was appointed South Korea's special envoy for public diplomacy this week, with the hopes of spreading more joy and positive energy to young people around the world. The pop sensations, who have spoken at both the 2018 and 2020 UN assemblies, will attend international meetings, including the UN General Assembly in September, and be expected to raise awareness around global issues among the younger, future generations. Collaboration and a semblance of AAPI musical theater artists with the mission to combat anti-Asian hate through the arts raised over $25,000 for Stop AAPI Hate with their abridged online concert of the Tony Award-winning musical comedy A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. The concert was hosted by Leah Salonga and starred Cindy Chung, Carl Joseph Ko, Ali Waltz, Diane Phelan, and Tom Sesma. It was directed by Alan Maroka with music direction by Stephen Cuevas. Taylor Takahashi stars in the short film Unite the Bay. The film captures the Asian American experience, shedding light on the weight on the community amid the increase in hate crimes against Asians. Nevertheless, the film also shows the strength in the next generation's collective voice and activism. Edson Oda made his directorial debut with the supernatural drama Nine Days out now. The film follows a man who interviews unborn souls to make sure they're worthy of occupying bodies in the living world. If deemed unworthy, they disappear. Benedict Wong stars as Kyo, a soul who doesn't disappear and serves as the judge's only company, assisting him in the interviews and helping him change his perspective on what a meaningful life is. Wong Fu Productions released the trailer for Strangers Never Again, a three-part sequel to the beloved Strangers Again short film which first premiered a decade ago. The new miniseries will explore how the original character's love has evolved after 10 years and whether their breakup was the right decision after all. The first part of the series premieres on YouTube for free August 8th, but is out now for paid view. The trailer for the latest Bond film, No Time to Die, debuted this week and included the highly anticipated film's release date. The spy thriller, directed by Emmy Award-winning Kerry Joji Fukunaga, had been postponed due to the pandemic and will be Daniel Craig's last appearance as James Bond. Fukunaga also co-wrote the script and helped base some of the costuming and armor off of Japanese-style theater. No Time to Die is the first Bond film to be directed by a person of Asian descent. Jessica Henwick and Will Yun Lee are lending their voices to Blade Runner, The Black Lotus, the new anime spin-off of the legendary film. The 13-episode series will be set in 2032 and follows Elle, a female replicant voiced by Henwick, as she embarks on a journey of self-discovery and unlocks the secrets and conspiracy theories surrounding her past. Lee, on the other hand, voices Joseph, a mysteriously intriguing man who owns a spare parts junkyard in Los Angeles. Audrey Nuna made her directorial debut with her That XX music video, in collaboration with Acme Studios. Nuna released a three-part video set to her song to celebrate the launch of the brand's limited edition high-top sneakers as she sports them in the glittery, dreamlike video. The video series was not only directed by the musician, but entirely conceptualized by her as well. There are history makers among the many AAPI athletes competing at the Olympics this year, such as Spencer Lee Kiefer, gymnast Sunisa Lee, swimmer Jay Leatherland, surfers Carissa Moore and Kanoa Igarashi, and tennis star Naomi Osaka. Kiefer became the first American to take an Olympic gold medal in individual foil fencing. Lee, who won gold in the individual all-around and helped the USA gymnastics team get a silver medal, is the first Hmong American Olympian. Leatherland took home the silver medal for the men's 400-meter individual medley, making him the first official Asian-American winner of this year's Olympics. Moore is the first person to receive a women's Olympic surfing title, and the first ethnically Hawaiian Olympic surfer. Igarashi won silver at the Olympics' first-ever surfing event, and Osaka became the first Asian-American to light the Olympic cauldron. That's all for now on The Lookout. Stay tuned for more AAPI news.